Hello everybody, it's me, it's Farm, and we're back with some bit more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. And today we are going to be seeing just how long we can make our beams. And we're going to be doing that with the interrogator. We're going to go to a biome mastery. We're going to take hollow bow, I think, this time. We never do hollow bow. I fancy the screenshot looking a little bit different and maybe a little bit of a different background for you guys to look at. As a five, of course, said driller, and we'll be taking the interrogator. All right, then. Let's get into this run. So we're in the hollow bow, somewhere I never go. And we're uh, we're going to see just how well we can do with beams. There's been a lot of buffs to beams in the recent balance patch. Changes to uh, the cards that you can get. And we're going to see which beam wins. The biggest beam wins. Our oh, XP gain right at the start. Nice. I'll give us a couple of extra levels. Okay. I mean, that's exactly what you want right what well, well, well it would have been nice if one of them was an 18 percent, but you know i'm not going to uh, complain too much about such a lovely start the driller does get more base mining speed doesn't it no no 16 same as the others right grab some potency that's definitely what we want there's another mushroom up here so many flyers Dodge the flyers. I don't want the chemist kit. More gold. Oh, nice. nice. Cryo cannon. Now we can do a proper test of which flamethrower wears it best. The cryo cannon or the flamethrower. Hopefully we get the burn thing. Otherwise we won't be able to do that test. I've always long assumed that the cryo cannon is the better flamethrower, but we're going to find out. Day we science. Okay, I guess we're taking plus two levels. Wow. Oh, DRG coupons right on the first level. We're okay. We'll get that reload speed up. We also want the wave cooker. And then I don't know what else. Maybe the sludge pump just. Increase the amount of status effect stack supplied. That's what it says now. There's these things. We don't need the raw damage, we need the potency. Raw damage is wasteful. What we do really need is mushrooms. Got a low mushroom count. The dwarfs will laugh at us for our low mushroom count. I'm sure there's definitely more stuff around. There's a mushroom down here. It's just scary to get mushrooms with all these flies around. There's another one. And another one. Still a mushroom short. Still a mushroom short of a party. A mushroom party. Like a sausage party, but with mushrooms. Now we've got our mushrooms. Right, let's get some reload speed on that thing. Go up this way. Get blown up by an explodey boy, but we don't care because cool guys don't look at oh look 15% range. This is the new thing. Now you can just get range on one thing. So we've gone 6.61. Nice. That might make it the better flamethrower already. I guess we just run around for a bit now, just getting experience and just having a nice time. Yeah, we'll take the reload speed. And the extra beam. Of the flamethrowers is today. So many extra mushrooms. But this is this is what I was really looking for: the real treat, the extra nitro patch. I knew we'd only got two nitro patches. Done head counting. The best kind of counting. Let's get some of these boys cooked up. The new turning speed is nice. Enjoying it. Oh, got spat on. Oh, got blown up. If I keep this up, they'll have to send in another dwarf. We don't want that. What we want to do is get as much experience as we can now. Yep. Burn? Yeah, burn. Nice. That's definitely not what we want. We don't want impact punch. We want frost burn and an extra beam. So now the race of the flamethrowers is on. Which one's going to apply more stacks? There's another nice cooking weapon. Going full cooking. Ah, oh, more range on the... 
gunmaner. This one so mean. I do that new range upgrade, taking away from potencies. Yeah. Reload speed. We don't need any damage upgrade cards. We're not gonna we're gonna try and not take any. If we can help it. Let's run around. Oh, more range. These must be up to massive range now. 8.05. Girthy. Girthy cryo. That's what we're all about on this channel. Girth. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Don't let anyone tell you different. We're going to get our hands on this last girthy mushroom. Maybe the last. Might not be. Then we'll just keep going for a little run. It'd be nice to be like level 25, you know? I feel like we've spent enough time on this floor to to deserve that. Take some more XP gain. I feel like we're going to have to cook our way out of this one now. More pickup radius. Yeah. Get that juicy pickup radius going for our girthy beams. Yeah, we need to catch that range up on the flamethrower. More XP gain. What's our XP gain up to now? 66%. Not bad. Now, the Krakatoa Sentinel is another fire beam weapon. But it just makes everything so hard to see. Reroll. Really wants us to take that. We'll take the uh, the sludge pump instead. Go for all the all the beam weapons. Grab some armor. Another level, yeah. Take the HP. We, we're going to need the tank, right? We're going to need a little bit of tank. And there you go. That's first floor done. Why didn't I make it to the drop pod? We are a big, fat, slow driller. Okay, we're fine. We made it. Oh, it's just me again, just saying. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help. And if you're not subscribed yet and you want to see more of this and you are returning, watching a few videos, or maybe even if it's just your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There's a thing with a dwarf and the flowers, and he might bring you flowers. He probably won't, right, because he's not real, but he's on the screen, and I hope you enjoy. All right, so what can we get? We can get some more range. Let's get that. We'll get some potency. Some potency. Don't want damage. Take some reload speed, some more potency. Another reroll. Status effect damage. Yeah, we need some of that. That's big. And probably some more potency. One more reroll. More fire damage. All right. We're good to go. I don't think the fire damage potency stacks increase the cryo cannon, though. So that's where the flamethrower might edge ahead. But at the moment, the cryo cannon's sitting a solid seven potency levels ahead. Oh, flowers for Mrs. Dwarf. She's going to be thrilled. She might even on that thing or whatever it is the old hawk tour you know dead meme already right that meme lasted all of about two minutes and then the person went on stage and then that was that anyway that's what we're hoping for from um from mrs dwarf for her to get on a stage and then disappear <laughs> So she stops asking us to get these bloody flowers. There's the last one we need, though. It's protecting some loot bugs. We even get to those loot bugs. Oh, we could, but it's a long way round. They get to live this time. Yeah, let's grab the potency on this. Go for the crowd cooker. Get it cooking crowds. Loot bugs, numb them up. Can't cook it all. Have they taken away the weapon meta range. Still exists, doesn't it? Plus one beams. There we go. We've got the triple beams on the cryo now. A load of lifetime as well. 
get this cleared and then we'll go find the rest of the nitro and gold and all the other goodies. Oh, what a horrible set of level ups. I will take reload speed on the crowd cooker. Hello, Shoe Babe. Are you coming to join the run? She is. And I think here we... Yeah, we take the gold tip bullets. It affects stated effect damage. Although we will be spending most of our gold due to the joys of um, DRG coupons. We'll hopefully be spending it anyway. I'll cook the birdies. There we go. Twenty-five percent weapon range. Wow! <laughs> the size of those beams. It's just, I think the cryo we're going to win out just on girth alone, right? Or length. That's definitely length. When there's six of them, they'll be girthy, and there will be. And we're going to get some plus one beams as well. Yeah, luck. Always take the luck, right? Yeah, grab some more potency. Oh, here, grab that. There's definitely more patches of nitro somewhere. Come on, help me mine. Thank you. I think we picked all of that up. Nothing. Oh, there is something. Something big. Stand inside it. There you go. It's done for. Yep, grab some more potency. Oh, we can still get weapon range on everything. I think we go for the girthier beams. The diver's manual. We don't benefit from the crit, so it only has limited use for us. Yeah, we'll take some more reload speed on our flamethrower. We've got to keep it up with the cryo cannon. It's this last nitro. Oh, I must pick the top. Things are dropping. No magnets, though. Need that juicy experience. Yeah, more reload speed. Rerolling that. Ugh, and that. Yeah, we'll go for lifetime. We'll get everlasting beams. More reload speed on the sludge pump. Get some extra beams on that. Extra sludge time. We should turn off the damage numbers. Oh, more range. Right, we can, we can get the shotgun. Uh, the shotgun? <laughs> the flamethrower up with the cryo cannon. Status effect damage, that's exactly what we want. And we want these two things. Yeah, lifetime on the sludge pump's important. It's a very short life span. That's very expensive for reload speed. I don't think we take anything, I think we re-roll. Yeah, grab some luck. Get the plus two levels. Ooh. Take I guess a little more oomph is fine. And then we'll grab this potency as well. And we are good to go. On to floor three. Mushrooms again. Look at the size of those beams. I might take the beam length upgrade instead of three beams. Let's go for the longest beams in town. There's a hidden mushroom around here.
a lot of damage. Maybe we do need the extra beams. Increase things faster. Ten luck. Forty-four luck already. Nice. doing enough damage to burn them up. It takes more potency. We've got spitters coming. Big spitty tower boys. I thought we can just cook the swarm. A crowd cooker. Okay. Ooh. Do a little bit of dodge in there. Take some more fire damage. Don't need crit chance. Not for this build. Just keep the sludge pump active. Make us too slow. We're not mining enough for an X. Go away game. Fine, we'll take the diver's manual. Benefit at least from the damage and the reload speed. I've got a completely non-mining build and we're in the hollow bow. Uh, and the roots I do not drop. Roots are not rocks. Yep, we have some more pickup radius. Let's push these guys back. More pickup radius. Let's go with our extra long beams. There's definitely nitrous all over this floor. We haven't found any of it. Oh no, we have found some. I re-rolled, didn't I? But only twice, so there should be at least one more patch, I think. Fine, we'll take the damage on the plane throw up. Let's take a damage. We need some move speed so we can run away from the bosses better. Must be up here, right? Right? Please? Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's a patch of four. Rude. us like that. That precious, precious nitro. Yep, there's more reload speed. I want to get those. I want to get some 18 soon. What is our lifetime looking like? Oh, good. Like half a minute. Bit more experience. Maybe we get a level from these small bugs. Yeah, we will. XP gain takes us up to what? 74%. Massive. Alright. Floor 4. What have we got here? I'm going to re roll once. Luck. It's fair damage. Weapon range. <laughs> That's absolutely what we want. More luck. What does that take us up to? 59. More weapon range. Oof. We take that lifetime as well. So these last for 15 seconds. That's a really long lasting sludge pump. Wave cooker lasts for 20 seconds. That's new, right? That We couldn't see that before. Potency and these are up to 36. And these are now 8 behind at 28. These are outranging by about two meters as well. Anyway, on we go. Load up and get going, miner. We have quotas to fulfill. When this is done, I'm starting my own bloody. Pretty sure we'll be able to get to screen wide clear though. 
with at least a weapon, probably the cryo cannon. Which is why I might take the 50% extra beams on it, 50% extra range. I've got all these loot bugs. Common loot bug. Often found molesting other loot bugs. A simple creature. Consuming mostly gold and nitra. I don't think we have to be too scared about the swarm. Just dip through, be fine. Deal with the swarm later when it's bigger and juicier. Yep, more potency. I was tempted by the plus three and then I realized one of those would be a waste. We don't waste on this channel. We eat all of our loot bugs. boy, more loot bugs to mine. Good. All loot bugs mined. And we just deal with all these, uh, all this experience. Yep, get some more fire damage out there. Yep, we'll take that plus two. Right, so I think we go for the 50% weapon range. That goes from 10.93 to 16.39. Much better, look. That's definitely full screen. Oh, yeah, but we might even be chilling stuff off screen. Yeah, let's take this damage and yeah, let's get these things going big too. Um... We need our own mining speed. We'll reroll. Take the ancient knowledge. It's a bit early, but yep, nano waves. Definitely nano waves. More potency there. Oh god! I suppose we are in a bit of a need of HP here. There you go, we're freezing stuff just off screen. We need more range, more range. Oh god, but now we can't run far enough away from the bosses. <laughs> we're going to keep freezing them. Patches of Nitra. I think we've already got one, so that should be all we need. I think the Wave Cooker's still going to win on Stack Supply. It's just so good. Even with the silly ranged cold beams, and stuff's getting frozen at the top of the map. I think we just walk through, we're fine. Yep, take some more reload speed on the wave cooker. We need that cooking at all times. We we'll probably just stand here and just freeze everything, right? Burn everything. Yeah, there we go. And then get all the free experience. Oh, magnet. The first magnet we've seen. Massive stuff. We'd already got all the experience, it gave us nothing. Oh, right, we'll get the XP gain, this reload speed, it's fire damage. We'll say, oh, more weapon range, absolutely more weapon range. More weapon ranges, no. Alright, we're going to pin that, of course, because that's luck. 
And we'll pin that because we want both of those. And then we're going to carry on. All the resources, all in one. Oh, they're giving us three nitro again. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they wouldn't. So they keep doing this to us. Really rude. At least all the resources, that every single patch of resources are within growing distance of the egg. Loot bugs, we gotta go get them. I think there's one hiding in here. Nope. It's a trick of the eyes. None of these are weapon range. Take some beam damage. The card is red. I like the red card. Probably would have been better to take two levels up on the wave quicker, but we, sh we should be getting another 30 levels probably. Through the bugs, we'll be fine. Right, now we need to go and explore for Hoolies. Yeah, I've not really taken the longer beams thing before, because I always play the interrogator and the damage doesn't mean anything, but the extra range is actually quite good. Now if we could just get some plus one beam levels, that would be, uh, be even better. Got all the luck saved up, so... Oh, loot bugs. It's going to drop straight on that elite. Oh, nice chemist kit. Let's get up through here. Yeah, now we're, now we're dealing damage. Now we're cooking with gas. I'm taking the stasis effect damage. The crowd cook is such a short wave compared to the other things anyway. Look at just our last line of defense. Anyway, it's... We don't need damage. We really don't. Status effect damage is worth so much more. Oh, we're coming up to the good level. About to happen. Well, soon. <laughs> it might happen soonish. Maybe as we walk through this crowd? Probably. Oh no, it's the twins. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> that was fine. Oh no, we're only hurting the melee one. I need to cook up the range one. More range on the wave cooker. Oh, level 69 as well, guys. That was at 25%. Ooh, that was fighting in close spaces there. Dreadnoughts are down. We're level 70. We've got very, very long beams. But they could be longer. What's the length on this one? Oh, it doesn't have a length. But it does have weapon range. It's not a hidden stat. 
Why those two things? Because we saved them, right? Weapon range, absolutely, no questions asked. And this reload speed. And then we'll make it do some slow. Uh, we want some more XP gain for sure. More potency. We want more options. Yes, Mr. Dwarf. We want some move speed. One more reroll. And some more potency there. So they're all level 20 now. This has got 48. Oh, the flamethrower's finally taken over because it's got its 26% potency there. Finally taken over. The flamethrower might turn out to be the best flamethrower after all. <laughs> Except for the fact that it doesn't chill at the same time. <laughs> Which makes it will be worse. But yeah, these are some these are some long beams. Getting the job done as well by the looks of it. Casually walk through the crabs. think the wave cooker just dealt with everything. Praetorians still take a little while to drop down. I suppose that's expected. More potency on the flamethrower. That's what we haven't seen for a while. We've seen lots of range upgrades for the cryo. Any of that. Yep, okay. Just things I do not want. Don't want another weapon box. It could ruin the beam flavour. I mean, it could also give us Krakatoa Sentinel turrets, but... I'm enjoying the beams the way we have them. Imagine we've got all the nitro off this floor already. Now that's going to give the flamethrower a significant advantage in this race to see which is the Olympic gold medalist of applying stacks on the interrogator. Now that we can actually see the stats. There's a piece of gold up there, but is there is there more elsewhere? You know, this is what you got to think. You can go for one chunk, or can you go for seven? Uh, I think those those of you in the know will know that seven is a bigger number than one. And if you can do maths like that, then you can make the correct choice. And you will always go for the seven, and then you can loop back and get the one. You know, it's all good. Something has to be left out. It's all, all, oh my god, something always got left out. Something important. You're really pissing off the bugs. Now we'll, we'll run away a bit longer. Ah, uh, I suppose we'll run back. Wouldn't mind the experience, you know. The drop pond is arriving. Get moving, it won't hang around. I'd like to see some extra beams for the cryo cannon to get it back on form. Only one plus one beams in all these levels, you know? Disappointing. Disappointing. Oh, what have we got? Oh, we got plus one beams, but it's for the sludge pump. Boom. Oh, we had 69 luck and I just ruined it. I thought we had 64 going to 69. Oh. Oh, well, at least we've got some more range on this. So it's got it's got fifty percent more range than the than the um flamethrower cryo cannon. 
fine. That's good. That's what we want to see. What else we got? Oh, we're pinning that bad boy. That's another 25% range coming up. Right, we can. Really need to see a plus one beams for it. Oh, it's definitely well off screen. Long beams are long. I thought I've seen a lot less meta weapon range upgrades cards though than normal. I think we've had one. But the beams are long, and it is it is useful. These are long beams. I think the Colette Wave Cooker is going to win because it can cook through walls. You know, that's a that's a big, it's a big plus. Oh, weapon range, nice. Grab some of that. That everything we run at is just frozen from from the cold beams being as long as they are. Strong cryo. Yeah, we take it. We we'll go big. We don't need hit points anyway. We're overrated. We've got cryo beams. What do we need hit points for? More weapon range. Although annoyingly, can't see the range. There's got to be a load more nitro around somewhere. Oh yeah, there's some. Little loot bug. Goodies. That is everything a growing dwarf would need, really, in this mine. I'm sure there's more nitro. Yep. There it is. And zero magnets. We can just sort of march forward, it's quite nice. Yeah, we'll put the plus two levels on the side pump. Maybe we can get another beam going. For our close range support. I just want more beams on the on the cryo. Range, yep. More weapon range. Stronger. Surely next time will be better. None of those are weapon range. This is weapon range. This one, let me try again. We pin that. Grab some pickup radius and then we're good to go. We want weapon range everywhere we can get it. So this is now up to twenty point seven and this are up to fifteen point five three. And that, yeah, that, they're off the screen. But, but, I think so, anyway. Corbin's look off the screen. It's almost a bug free experience, isn't it, with uh, this much cryo? Just everything is just frozen. You just run around and do what you want. Why don't we just walk through this? Yep. More nitra, hidden by roots. Jolly bugs down there. Let's 
There's mushrooms everywhere. Oh, extra beams. Nice. Now we've got all the beams. All the super long range beams. Need to find the last of the mushrooms. I think we can do just. Oh, yeah, we can try around. Oh, more. more loot bugs. We get them. Starting to drop some frames for some reason. That means there must be a huge horde of bugs somewhere. Seems fine. <laughs> Weapon range for everything. Do we do it? Do we take the? Yeah, we're taking the pick I picked up enough move speed. I think I just saw a 200,000 status effect here. No way. No way. It must have been a 20,000, right? There's no way we got a 200,000. It was 20,000. It was. I say we've hardly got any status. Oh, we know we've got 550. No, we've got quite a lot of status. Fed. Talking about. What we don't have is any health. But these guys will give me plenty of experience, right? Which doesn't work. Right. Did we pin something? I thought we did. We did. Weapon range. Weapon range. And weapon range. No! Okay, we need to pin you two things. How are we going to get that much nitra? Okay. It's a hoodie bug up there. If it's got nitro in it, we're taking it. We're taking it. Maybe it's maybe it's maybe it's Maybelline. Um I was gonna say maybe it's our lucky day. But then I slipped into adverts from the nineties. Well it's gonna help us in our goal of getting all of those legendary cards that we've got saved up. And cards that we want. It's half of one of them. Flowers. Yeah, we're just freezing everything. Off screen freezing. Big swarm detected. Bugaman, get ready. I think we can just run around the map, like literally with impunity. Oh no, I just took a load of damage. Something unfroze on top of me. Well done, you got them all. Now I'm a one shot to an explodey boy. Oh my god, 25% range. We're up to 25 on the cryo. Everything is off screen by the looks of it, apart from maybe the flamethrower. Flamethrower's on. No, the flamethrower's probably off screen as well. Oh, the sludge pump obviously isn't. That's what we need to find though. We can't be messing around. We've got lots of nitro to collect. We need like 80 of the stuff. What, 60 now, maybe? Lucky. Nine. We're going slow again. I 
think the swarm's kind of just getting frozen solid. I don't think we need to worry about it. Oh, all that move speed, that will counter up all the pickle nitro we've got. We definitely need at least 62 nitro. And we're going to kill those elites before we even get a chance. We're almost gone already. Oh my god. Everything's... The elites are done for. We're not going to find the nitro. I mean, we've only got one floor left, right? So I guess we do just take it now. Like to see some weapon range. Not going to be able to buy all the things we pinned. Wow, they hit for 175. It's quite hard. It was a one shot. All right. Well, obviously we're getting the beams. We'll, we'll unpin those sad times. Well, actually, we'll get that weapon range. Nope. Try again. I can't, I'm feeling lucky. Get this to me, game. And we'll buy that HP so we're not looking so rough. The Dreadnought will emerge when you destroy the small cocoons. Hang on. And watch out for elites. Keep your cool, and you will make it out just fine. Are we inside the egg? We are. How are we inside the egg? Normally the egg has collision, doesn't it? Is that because we were dropped off inside the egg? I love this egg. Hey, look, Mike's doing it too! Are you guys sure that's safe? I wonder. Oh god, now we have no mining speed at all. Our mining speed is, uh, yeah, minus 48%. How long does it take us to go through roots? Oh god, we have to actually have to mine the roots. Takes us forever to do the loot bugs. <laughs> that, 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 that was really slow. There's this last egg. Last gooey egg. Also, what's the potency looking like? So these ended up on 56, these on 47. Other oh, flame flamethrower ended up on top. But we'll have to see how many stacks they actually applied. The sheer range. I'm going to reroll. Taking some more weapon range. We're up to 26.31, which is way off the screen. If anything spawns near us, it's basically getting frozen. Let's go on the hunt for this last egg. Oh, really? I'm going to have to mine this. <laughs> Come on. Where's the last egg as well? I... By the time we've called this down, the egg will basically be free. We've killed a whole bunch of... Bugs. Oh, look! A BLT ration pack, just in time. Oh, we've got no health. Oh, we can take two hits. Probably. We just stand and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them again. Feels like maybe. Oh, they're healing up. Oh, they're probably going to heal up again. Yep. I don't think we need to have any fear, though. XP gain? That's going to be huge. And there we go. So which flamethrower do you think is going to be best? There's our, there's our ending stats. 
Have a little look. 571% status effect damage. We weren't going for huge status effect ticks. I wanted screen wide beams. And what we've got is screen wide beams. Look at that. Look at that glory. Just absolute beauty. Job well done, Miner. Indeed. Thank you, Mission Control. You always have the right things to say to pick me up. All right. So the thing that applied the most stacks by a long, a long way was the Colette Wave Cooker. Um, but actually, the Cryo Cannon was applying stacks a lot faster than the Flamethrower. The Cryo Cannon is the better Flamethrower. But nearly all of that fire damage has come from this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. If you did and you haven't yet already, please don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps, and I hope to see you in another video again soon. Have a good one.